All right. Um, so we got our Rocky Linux thing kind of working. Um, you know, it's safer now because SSH, the SSH user has been changed away from root. Um, but I want to get the firewall working. And one really cool thing about uh, Rocky Linux and its, you know, compatriots, so CentOS and Red Hat and De uh, not Debian, um, but Fedora, is they come with something called Firewall D. And it's really strong and really powerful. Um, so I'm going to use that to configure. And luckily for me, Linode's version of Rocky Linux already has Firewall D up and running. Um, so for an example, if I try to go to the website right now, it doesn't have one. Um, so I'm going to install Nginx real quick and show that the firewall is stopping that. Okay, um, so over here, I stopped, or I installed Nginx, and I started it up, and then I killed Firewall D, which you can see here. And then you saw, as soon as I did that, the Nginx homepage popped up. Um, so we have Nginx working now, and the firewall is actually stopping it. Well, what all is the firewall stopping? Uh, and you can easily find that out by here doing sudo firewall command uh, list... Oh, permanent. Um, so this is the rules that always exist here. Oops, let me pull this over so I'm not blocking the way. Um, and then list all. Oh, it's not running. I have to run it to do that. So I'm um, going to start this back up. So sudo systemctl restart firewall d. And then run that list all again. And you can see here the only services it's currently allowing is Cockpit, which is a Linode service that I can go into it and find out a uh, DHCP v6 uh, because I'm running uh, IPv6 on here and then SSH. So it's not running HTTP, which means now that it's back up, if I were to come back here and restart it, it would never load. It's just going to keep spinning because the firewall is stopping it. Um, so I want to enable it. Uh, so I'm going to come down here, and to do that, you can do sudo. Here, hold on, I'm going to close this real quick so you can see that it's stopping it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to leave that spinning. And then I'm going to do sudo firewall cmd. And then permanent. Um, and then I actually want to see what's out there. So I lied. I'm going to do uh, get services. I think it's like list. Uh, okay, just get services. Um, oh, geez. So what this is, is this is a list of all the services that I can put in the firewall by name. Um, so it's a lot. Uh, it looks kind of gross right now, um, but instead I just want to see if HTTP is there. So I can grep for HTTP, run this again, and we can see here that it knows about HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, so good deal. Um, so now I just want to add that service. Um, so I'm going to go back, firewall, permanent, so it's always there, that rule's always there. And I want to uh, move this up a little bit. No, oh, there's just no good place for me to go. I'll just go up here. Um, so zone equals public. And then add service equals HTTP. Okay. Um, so I misspelled that. Uh, so I'm going to do tack tack add service HTTP. Hey, okay, and then I'm just going to uh, restart. So sudo systemctl restart uh, firewall. Okay, 
And then if I would go back to list them all again, um, I would now see that I have the earlier services and now HTTP, which means if I were to refresh this, uh, it's now up. Awesome. Um, so that is how I would add services to Firewall D. Um, if I didn't have Firewall D already installed, um, which it comes generic, you would just do the simple sudo DNF Firewall D. Um, I recommend you uh, familiarize like the different commands of it. Uh, so I'll link the documentation below. Uh, but generally, you just want to allow just what you need to get it working. Um, here I wanted this Nginx homepage to show up, so I wanted to allow strictly HTTP, um, which I did through that list services, and I could see that HTTP was there, and then I just added it. Um, so that's how you would add services to Rocky Linux Firewall D. So maybe you saw that and you're wondering, well, David, why don't I just leave a firewall D off? If it, all it's doing is blocking stuff that I want to do, I'll just turn it off. And that is something that you kind of just need to run to see kind of like what all it's stopping for you. Um, so by default, it will not log anything. But if you wanted to log you can do, I think I just got rid of it. Um, so you can do this sudo firewall command get log denied. And that's going to tell you that it's off. So if you go back to that, you can do sudo firewall command set log denied equal to all. And what that's going to do is it's telling firewall D that anytime you get something bad to log it. Uh, to the journal in this case. If you want to play around with config, you can have it logged to a separate file. But next episode, I plan on implementing fail to ban, which will make this really pretty. So now it's logging everything dropped, where if we now do sudo uh, journal, journal CTL X E, we can see over here all this stuff it's blocking. Um, so we have these people hitting uh, these different IP addresses trying to get in as root. So we see here these final rejects. So that's firewall D uh, kicking them out. Um, let me run this again because I think we'll have a better thing once now it's logging again. Um, so we have all these like, oh, these are actually bad examples. Boom, 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 boom. Um, so we have all these final rejects from these IP addresses coming to me because our IP address is dot one seven one, which is this destination. So we can hear, see here these IP addresses from like dot one five four and dot one one two and one one three just pinging us constantly where if we would have had our firewall d down they would actually be able to access possibly access these ports and services that we have hidden in our service and that's why it's important to keep firewall d up